We've had like 10 coffees. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying? Good morning, everyone. My name is Dario. I'm traveling with my girlfriend, Cecilia, across Australia, just to see the cooler spots this place has to offer. As for today, we're in Tambourine Mountain. Uh, we've heard this place has a lot of beautiful nature walks and trails. So we thought we'd come here just to check it out. As you can see, the view from over here is absolutely beautiful. And to have this as your backyard when you travel, is just stunning. You know, it's every time you stop somewhere, it's always somewhere different and it looks like this. Not always, but sometimes. So today's plan is to go to the visitor center and then find out what's around here. So we ended up getting in here late yesterday afternoon and we met quite a few people whilst we were here. We met a Taiwanese family who were extremely nice and we told them all about van life and our adventures and all that stuff. And then about half an hour later, they came back to the van with a platter of food, which was really nice of them. They didn't have to but they, they came with a platter of food, which was really cool. So we just stayed here. We enjoyed the sunset because the sun was setting just over the mountains on that side. And it was beautiful. It's really nice evening. But I think we've seen enough of this view. So I think we'll go to the information center and get, I don't know, some information about this area. We'll see what we can do here and then we'll go do that. All right, so we're gonna see if they have any information on this place and what we can see and do here. All right, so we got our maps and pamphlets and the nice lady in there has actually marked up all the cool waterfalls and bushwalks that we're gonna be doing. So we can't wait. Also, we got uh, recommended some spots from where we actually can have a view of Gold Coast, which is pretty cool that you can see the city from here. So the first place we're gonna to go to is the Eagle Heights Hotel. Apparently there you can grab a coffee or a drink and they've got the nicest view of the Gold Coast. And plus we didn't have coffee yesterday. We've had like 10 coffees. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you lying? I wanted to make it right that we are having another coffee, but... Anyway, uh, it's about 10 minutes away, so we're gonna get on to that. Uh, we'll see you guys then. So first stop, we're at the pub. <laughs> Hopefully we're gonna see some nice views, get another coffee. Not just the instant coffee, that's what I meant before. <laughs> yeah, first real coffee of the day. Yes, yes. And as you can see, Cecilia is now in a jumper because it's a little bit cold. It's, and it's I'm in so... jumper and pants too. because. Yeah, and, and a bit cloudy. I'm a little bit worried it's gonna start raining too. So let's see if these views are worth it. So as you guys can see, that's a pretty stunning view of the Gold Coast. Even with the clouds, it's like a bit traumatic. Yeah, looks awesome. This place is huge too, so I would recommend it so far. Hopefully the coffee is really good. Yeah, I'm very fun. Ah, uh, thank you so much. All right, enjoy. Thank you. So let's try the coffee, see if it's any good. It's wow. really good, right? It's really good. It's really sweet, but it's like really good. And we are ordering with vanilla, so yes. <laughs> yeah, we get vanilla latte, but surprisingly one of the best we've had in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say, like, so yeah, definitely you should do come here. <laughs> So this is, where are we? Cedar Creek. <laughs> Cedar Falls. Cedar Falls. It looks pretty nice. 
wonder if the water's warm. Unfortunately, we don't have, have swimmers on us, but... Well, I think it would be cold anyway. But Probably. maybe during the summer? Like, for sure, I think you can swim here. Yeah. But this is a nice waterfall. Really beautiful. So we've been back at the van for about the last two hours and we had some food and pretty much just crashed straight after that. Cecilia has been doing some Instagram stuff and I've just been watching YouTube and just relaxing. But it looks like we'll do more hikes tomorrow. So we'll turn this into like a two day vlog. So we'll continue with that. I think for the rest of the night, we're just gonna look for a place to camp and just hang out, pretty much do nothing for, for the rest of the day. But uh, yeah. We'll continue this. So good morning, everyone. We found this nice little turn off where it has a really nice view, as you can just see uh, with Kind of the mountains in the background and the sun rising in the morning and it looks really nice we kind of stayed here last night and we just just watched some tv and we just hang out but today we've got a bit more of a busy day i think we're going to be heading to a place called curtis falls next and hopefully that turns out to be quite beautiful um, we're going to head there now and we're going to see we're going to try to get a shower today as well there's a there's a pool kind of in the main town so we're going to see if they offer a shower pass and then we're going to go have showers. So we'll see. And we've got a lot of dishes that we're going to need to do, I think later today. I'm not sure when, but we have to get around to it because it's starting to pile up. But the van isn't too messy, so that's a good thing. So everything is sort of packed away nice and neat and we're only about 12 minutes away from our first waterfall of the day. So let's get to it. So it says that Curtis Falls is only about 500 meters down this way. And the trail is really nice. That is Curtis Falls. It's not the highest waterfall we've ever seen. It's probably only about 15 to 20 meters high at most, but it's, it's beautiful. And this water is like so turquoise, even though it's so hidden within the trees, because there's trees everywhere, but it's such blue water. It's beautiful, really nice here. So if you're ever in this area, so far there's Cedar Creek Falls, which is really nice, and there's Curtis Falls, which I think is even maybe nicer. We've got a lot of these railings, so I'm not sure if you can actually go swimming in there, but it's really cool. So our next plan is to head back to Cedar Creek Falls. We're going to shoot a quick drone shot there and then we'll decide where the next place is to go. 
we'll figure that out. So I've officially got the drone shots. You guys would have seen them yesterday in our little kind of montage we took of Cedar Creek Falls. It's quite beautiful there and a lot of friendly people, which is really nice. Uh, but as for right now, we've looked up our next place. It's called Witcher Falls or Witcher's Falls. Um, and we're going to be heading there. I think it's only about 10 minutes away as well. Uh, so we're going to be heading there. And then after that, I think we might just hang out for a bit, cook some dinner, uh, hang out in the van because we kind of just want to hang out today. And yeah, find a good spot. So we'll get going soon. So we we're just on our way to Witcher Falls, which is just down the road from here. And we lost power in the car. And there's another engine light flashing, which we had earlier on. If you've been watching our YouTube videos, uh, there was maybe two and a half months ago, we had the same issue. It didn't cost much to fix. Uh, luckily it was only like, I think we got a brand new part for it, which was about 300 bucks. Yeah. And then we paid somebody to remove the code. I think that's all they did, or they reset the boundaries or something. And that cost about 150. So it wasn't too expensive, uh, but another engine light just sucks. Uh, not something we wanted, especially in the hilly area of Queensland, because now we've got to get back, I guess, to the coast or try to see if there's a mechanic in town that works on Mercedes. So this is pretty frustrating, to be honest. Just sucks. I think just terrible timing, but what can you do?